Well, we'll start with the softball. How is how's spring going? That's going really good. We're all working really hard right now and pushing to be our like the best football player we can be right now. What injury did you have in December, and how much time did you miss because of it? Um, I had surgery on my right knee, and I missed probably about a couple weeks of our winter training. But now I'm back to back to full go. Did you miss bowl prep too? Or did I did. I did. Was that disappointing? To, to I mean, it seemed like you had some momentum going into that. Yeah, it was just disappointing because I wasn't out there with all of my teammates and stuff. Kind of. Um, I really wish I would have been out there, but it was probably best to uh, sit out. How much do you think that set you back when you got back going through the winter stuff? Oh, I don't, I don't think so. You just got to keep on picking up where you left off and not think about your injury or anything like that. Where have you been spending most of your time at? Center or guard or kind of 50 I'm just kind of been moving around. I'm moving around right now, mostly guard, some center, just where coach wants me to go out and play. Do you have a preference? No, it doesn't matter as long as they play. Yep, as long as they're out there. Do right, right or left side? Um, right guard. Okay. You've got a pretty, you've had a pretty good mentor there at that position, or you know, Sean Welsh, and then James, of course, at center. What, what have you picked up from those two guys? I mean, Sean and James were like awesome leaders. They always showed me how to do things, how to like, um, how to like keep yourself going every day. Every day with practice, during meetings, they just show you the right way to do everything. Those guys are just awesome leaders and just hope to live up to them. What about from a technical standpoint? I'm sure after five years, Sean Welsh could, you know, where to put the hands and how to step, and you probably picked up a lot from that, didn't you? Yep, yep. Sean was an excellent technician. So was James. Um, they were all, like, they would be on the side along with Coach, like, teaching all the younger players what to do, where your hands are, get your knee to the crotch, and stuff like that. Is Keegan kind of taking over leadership now? Oh, yeah. Keegan, Keegan, like, mostly everybody. Keegan, Ross, Dalton Ferguson, both of Paulsons. It's more of a big, we have a big leadership group coming in the offensive line room now with those uh, seniors leaving from last year. The advantage of having now a second year offensive line coach. I mean, do you feel like you guys are at a different point than you were last year at this time? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, now it's, I mean, we're all working really hard right now. We're all getting better. And coach is just helping us become like the best football player we can be. You guys couldn't have been happy. I know you didn't play a ton, but um, the run game production last year, just in terms of the yards per game, yards per carry, has that been an emphasis this spring? I mean, everything's been an emphasis, pass, run. We're just kind of like working to be better and overall to be your best line. How have you developed physically since you've gotten here from when you were in high school to where you are now? Huh. And, um, Coach Doyle does an awesome job with not me, but everybody. But I, you can tell I've gotten a little bit bigger and a little bit stronger than, than I was in high school. What weight have you put on? Um, probably about 10 pounds. Oh, okay. So it's not too much, but... I'm sure the strength is growing quite a bit. Yeah, a lot. It's going up. All my maxes went up a lot mm -hmm. just from being with Coach Doyle and all those guys. How 